you are set for a powerful encounter that will change your life forever, as you are about to listen to this powerful sermon by Apostle Joshua Selman. A shift is about to take place in your life that will lead to a supernatural transformation. Your grace, your grace, I'm nothing without you. It's your grace, your grace shines on me. Sing it from your heart. Your grace, your grace, I'm nothing without you. Your grace, your grace shines on me. Shines on me. Shines on me, but I'm everything with you. Shines on me, shines on me. It's your grace. Hallelujah. Lord, we sincerely thank you. We sincerely thank you for the privilege of being the ones to partner with you in birthing such magnificent testimonies in the lives and the destinies of people. It is not within the power of any man to change any life. But with God all things are possible. And Lord we thank you for being the secret, the mystery, the law and the reason behind our success and the lifting why should i keep what people say they don't know what you mean to me they don't know what you mean to me truly they don't
This is part of the meeting. It's an atmosphere for you. Take your place. 
Just hold hands with someone and begin to pray in the spirit. Just hold hands with someone and begin to pray in the spirit. Hold hands with someone and begin to pray in the spirit. Just make contact. Jaka 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 Oh, like a bride waiting for her groom. Even so, come. Even so, come. Even so, come. Kapa rakuta shabrandi gera tusa. Shaka tebra tega tebra tega tebra shkata bara da bara da bara. Ena na ma na ma so ta na 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 ba ni na 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 ba. Shera ma na mo so na na ma ni na 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 ba ni na na.
Hallelujah. We are going to pray one more time. If you are sick in your body, just lay your hands there. There is a strong healing anointing in this place right now. You are sick anywhere in your body. Lay your hands. Lay your hands. I see the power of God about to touch people in a few minutes. Miracles of healing. green headache the power of God is touching you right now right now right now right now I'm seeing um, I'm seeing a lady having severe like like menstrual cramps severe menstrual cramps right now as I speak the power of God is touching 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 that pain leaves right now that pain leaves right now there is a spirit that has been walking with a lady you literally feel as if there is a man walking by your side that spirit is leaving you right now by the power of the holy ghost that spirit is leaving you right now this is zion the city of the lord there's someone your voice for a while your voice has been unable to be clear it's like there's something hooking you you're going to feel like fire on your throat right now right now and your voice will come back to normal right now right now hotness of the body that's what the lord is telling me father we give you all the glory hotness of the body hotness of the body is living right now there is someone you brought your mother your mother is in this place she's been unable to sleep for a long time she can't even sleep but right now the power of god is coming upon her and that devil is giving way right now 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 there's someone you have a boil like a boil in your nose right inside your nose the power of god is touching it not only will it be healed it will disappear right away you will touch it and you will not feel anything right now the lord is touching the lord is touching the lord is touching i'm seeing a river in the realm of the spirit that's what i'm seeing flowing into this place a river is a river of miracles many will be swept by that river 
is a river that flows from the love and the throne of God. It's a river bringing healing, bringing healing, bringing healing. There are there are miracles going on, healing miracles. Sekate parato shapa karyanda kapros kotosh ke pres ketosh pres ketosh se patali katosa paria. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. There's a spectacular miracle that the Lord wants to do for many people. Hallelujah. I'm seeing a group of people in the realm of the spirit. You used to hear God in profound dimensions. But from the beginning of this year, something happened to your hearing. And it's an attack from the gate of hell. Now please pay attention. I'm speaking by the spirit. It's an attack from darkness upon your hearing and it's like something has closed you some of you don't even know you are part of it i'm about to pray for you because that that prophetic dimension you need it to hear what i want to teach you tonight you need it there are some dimensions of spiritual communication that you cannot understand it scientifically and the lord is asking me to pray therefore father i stretch my hands on your people every gate of the prophetic that has been closed every gate every gate the hearing ear let that grace be released right now the hearing ear the hearing ear Sata many of you will hear the sound of angels instantly instantly inside outside those following on our social media platform the Lord is opening the Lord is opening prophetic dimensions the sharing of the spirit authentic sharing not nonsense an authentic sharing for some of you it is restoration 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 what happened to your hearing that you no longer hear the sounds of the spirit like fire is coming on the ears of people fire fire Active fire falling on people. Fire, a restoration of hearing. A restoration of hearing. A restoration of hearing. Lift your hands. There are people here. Your dreams used to be prophetic, but it was hard. And my God is something is happening to your spirit man the hand of god is coming upon your spirit man the hand of god coming upon your spirit man right now dreams 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 shaka patata stretch dreams where you will understand the counsel of god in the visions of the night the counsel of god in the visions of the night the counsel of God in the visions of the night hallelujah hallelujah the last thing I'll pray for before we sit down is sensitivity listen let me tell you if you lack sensitivity in this season and in this time you will never be able to be in sync with what god is saying sensitivity is like breathing in the realm of the spirit to be able to understand the impulses of the spirit and align yourself with what the spirit is doing and saying he said the sons of Issachar they had an understanding of the time and they knew what Israel ought to do I want to pray for you there is a grace that makes men sensitive many of us used to be sensitive especially our sisters something has happened to your sensitivity but in the name of Jesus Christ I pray this is a mountain of the Lord's house where grace is sufficient grace is sufficient right now i stretch my hands may that grace begin to fall on men and women let it fall let it fall sensitivity discernment sensitivity discernment sensitivity discernment to the speakings of the spirit sensitivity discernment to the speakings of the spirit my 
mighty on your throne, mighty on your throne. You were mighty on your throne. Hey, mighty on your throne. You were mighty in this Mighty on your throne. You were mighty on your throne. Mighty on your throne. You were mighty on your throne. Mighty on your throne. You were mighty on your throne. Mighty in my life. Outside, the spirit of God is everywhere, everywhere to meet your need. Tonight is a real miracle service, it's not just a lame, it's an experience. Holy is the Lamb, the whole earth sing. The whole earth sing. Forget about your sickness. Forget about the oppression. And just worship him. Forget about the doctor's report. Forget about the financial challenge. I don't care what it is. Hey. Sing holy is the Lord. The whole earth sing. Come on, lift your voice. Holy is the Lord. Holy is the Lord. The whole of sea. From generation to generation. The Bible says one generation will declare his praise to another. Holy is the Lord. Holy is the Lamb, the whole Holy is the Lamb. Yes, Yahweh. Yes, he is. Yahweh, Yahweh, Yahweh. Yahweh, Oh Lord, you are bigger than what people say. Yahweh, sing Yahweh, Yahweh. There are people who have come in from different states of this country. I'm aware that there are people who have come in all the way from Adamawa. I know someone who started his journey yesterday. 
let me tell you something none of you will be disappointed tonight are you listening to me no you have not come to a man i am is in this place i sense faith in this place tonight forget about your sickness forget about whatever challenge growth cancers forget about it and let's worship him Yahweh. Hey. Yahweh. Yahweh. You are bigger than what people say. Yahweh. Yahweh. You are Yahweh. Hey. Yahweh. 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 No demon you can stand this atmosphere. No devil can stand this atmosphere. Sing Yahweh. himself was created by somebody are you listening to me the satan that people fear and dread he was a cre he is still a creation someone let me tell you a creation can never be greater than his creator oh satan was created at a time t satan and let me tell you according to the law of science hallelujah that everything that is created can be destroyed yeah. is what was not created that cannot be destroyed yeah. are you listening to me yeah. satan is at the very root of every sickness I want to provoke your spirit as we lose this atmosphere for my father to have a convocation through this place you will never 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 go back the same I assure you you will not go back the same hallelujah hallelujah I need you to understand that Jesus Christ is not a little more powerful than satan you know that's our mindset we think satan is great but then jesus christ maybe by two or three points are you joking the bible says there was war in heaven he didn't even fight it was michael that threw satan down when he went to the grave he said holy spirit you can go come back on the third day as a man i can take this guy jesus did not go to hell with the holy ghost the real source of his power 
He said, this guy is too cheap. Spirit of God, wait. You can come back on the third day. Bible says, if that same spirit had resurrected Christ. Are you listening to me? I'm trying to provoke something in your spirit. Because in life, what you tolerate, you will never change. Too many people justifying sickness, justifying oppression, justifying setbacks. You're not moving forward and you're justifying it. Tonight, there will be an anger in your spirit. And he said, Lord, no way. Tonight, I will hold on to you. Something about my life will be altered for good. Something about my life. Every devil, I don't care what medical name it is called, is a spirit. Cancer is a spirit. HIV is a spirit. Hear me. Tumor is a spirit. Death is a spirit. I don't care what it is called. And the Bible says, Wherefore? God had so highly exalted him and given him an identity, a name that is above cancer, above HIV, above high blood pressure. Said at the mention of that name, it is a negotiation will happen. Every knee. Come on, there are some knees that must bow tonight. Hey. There are some tongues that must confess. hallelujah some things must end the woman with the issue of blood came to him she said if i may but touch the helm of his garment and she was made whole there is no impossible situation in this place tonight pack up that language of impossibility and kick it out of this place inside outside many of you are standing stand because your miracle will, will locate you right there. It's like your GSM number. It can't enter two phones. It will get to you by the Spirit. Bible says, for this purpose, the Son of God was made manifest that he may destroy, put to an end, until the lion roars. Every other animal can claim to be a lion. Oh, but when the lion roars, the difference is clear. And can I tell you something? He that is upon the throne is about to roar in this place like you have not seen. Oh yes, he's about to roar. And God will make a caricature out of Satan in your life in a way that will shock you tonight. Hear me? I'm not trying to motivate you. I'm not trying. I'm provoking something in your spirit. Don't justify any sickness. I don't care what it is. Don't justify any situation. Leave it from hand to mouth. Stop justifying it. Tonight is the night to press and say, Lord, for my family, enough is enough. Come on. Enough is enough. That you don't move forward in life? No, sir. That's why God put this miracle service. putting a holy anger in your spirit until you get angry with where you are once you keep tolerating where you are let me tell you you will never move forward when a baby is in the womb of the mother for nine months the baby will tolerate that environment after nine months the baby will say time up time up i need a change of environment and brothers and sisters there's got to be a dissatisfaction in your spirit as i prayed and prepared for this meeting i told the lord i said lord i'm angry about some levels in my life and you're going to shoot me like an arrow an arrow and that's why god brought you that's why you're here tonight bible says and jacob wrestled Jacob said I won't let you go leaving you is not part of the options until you bless me
Hello him Madonna high 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 Hello him Madonna Hello, Gim Madonna. Hello, Gim Madonna. Hello, Gim Madonna. Isaiah 61. Ah, hello, him. Ah, 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 hello, him. He's changing everything in obedience to Christ. My father is changing. Papo Sotaya. He's healing everything. He's recreating everything. He's transforming everything. I know him. I know him. He's changing everything. By his spirit tonight. God is changing, I tell you. Hallelujah. Isaiah 61. The Spirit of the Lord God is upon me. Because the Lord has anointed me. To preach good tidings to the meek. He had sent me. These are the categories of people tonight. To bind up the broken hearted. To proclaim liberty. To the captives. To set them free. And the opening of prisons. Hear me. There are people who are in prisons in this life. All kinds of prisons. What do you call a terminal disease? There are all kinds of prisons represented in this place. But the spirit of the sovereign Lord, like a mighty rushing wind, is across the length and the breadth of this place, inside and outside. And for as many who are streaming with us online, the Spirit of God turning every wilderness to a fruitful vine and every fruitful vine to a forest to proclaim the acceptable year of the Lord and a day of vengeance. There are people that need the justice of God in their life. There are people here that need what we call the vengeance of God. Our families have suffered untold casualties. Hear me. There is a dimension of God called his merciful dimension. There's something called the mercy seat. But there's something called the judgment throne. And hear me. Tonight there will be a decree of judgment. Oh. I know you don't like this. It's part of his nature. Some there will be a decree of judgment. It's not enough for you to just get healed or get liberated. God who is just, must he must bring some justice in your family. Many of you will know the judgment. You will see the side of God tonight that will make you afraid.
to comfort all who mourn to appoint unto those who mourn in Zion to give them beauty for ashes beauty for ashes an oil of joy for mourning the garment of praise for the spirit of heaviness said that they might be called the trees of righteousness the planting of the Lord that he might be glorified Isaiah 62 verse 1 let me read a prophecy about what God is let me tell you God is more eager to bless you than you are to receive tonight believe me God is more eager to bless you 62 I don't know about you but I'm going to put my name there for Joshua Selman's sake I will not hold my peace tonight and for his sake I will not rest until the righteousness thereof go forth as brightness and thy salvation as a lamb that burneth. Verse 2 He said and the Gentiles shall see thy righteousness and all kings thy glory and thou shalt be called by a new name that's what the Lord told me. A new song and a new name. Thou shalt be called by a new name which the mouth of the Lord shall name. Verse 3. Thou shalt also be a crown of glory in the hand of God. A royal diadem. A royal diadem. I believe. I believe. I believe, oh Lord, I believe. Lord, I believe. Do you believe your oppression ends tonight? Do you believe the sickness dies tonight? Do you believe the retrogression ends tonight? I believe, hey. spirit just move in this place I like to just set your heart I need you to realize hear me that what is going to happen to you tonight is really not what God is about to do is the manifestation of what Christ has done in the cross are you listening to me until you realize that it will be difficult for you to receive. God is not trying to bring healing. He's trying to enforce in your life the healing that has been established. Hallelujah. Every miracle, every manifestation of the Spirit in this place is on account of the finished work of Christ. Say after me, the finished work. The finished work. Cancer died in Christ 2,000 years ago HIV died in Christ hear me oppression died in Christ every name every sickness poverty lack retrogression all kinds of challenges died in Christ 2,000 years ago and let me tell you something Satan is not powerful this is a revelation that must be crystallized in your spirit. I don't care how many demons you have seen in the realm of the spirit. I have seen them and I'm still saying Satan is powerless. Hear me. Satan is only as powerful to the degree to which your ignorance or disobedience permits him to be. 
are you listening to me and so you must realize that is your right in Christ Jesus to receive that which the son of the living God has died for he died for your salvation the word salvation is the Greek word soteria and it's, it's a very pregnant word it doesn't just mean salvation from sickness it means salvation from sin salvation from sickness salvation from poverty total package of redemption the total package of redemption hallelujah for death could not hold him captive even in the grave is Lord for death for death could not hold him captive even in the grave even in the grave Jesus no sickness could hold him in hell no oppression could hold him when the gates refused to open there was a cry lift up your heads all ye gates and be ye lifted all ye ancient doors and they asked a the question they said who is this king of glory there was a reply he said the lord yahweh strong and mighty the lord mighty in battle he said the lord of hosts is his name so i need you to realize hear me you're not fighting with satan to claim yours to claim your no 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 there's no fight tonight we are stepping upon the established victory of christ jesus to receive by faith the fullness of the riches of the benefits of redemption that's why i like that song that says my faith is reaching out to you that you reach out that's all you need to do tonight for that sickness you need to reach out he said thou son of david i believe oh i believe don't start asking questions how will the growth disappear how did it come in the first place were you born you've never asked a question how the swelling came why should you ask how it will disappear don't ask how the leg will grow out that's none of your business don't ask how the ears will open that's none of your business that's the dynamics of the spirit the bible says for us you do not know the way of the wind or how bones are formed in the womb of her that is with child so you do not know the way of the lord i'm provoking you tonight I don't care what that challenge is we're going to be stepping by faith there are many of you who have been oppressed by demons demons torment you and oppress you I saw a lot of this in my visions through the week enough is enough are you listening to me the Bible says we have been raised up with Christ say after me I have been raised up inside outside shout it i have been raised up and i've been made to sit with christ far above cancer say it far above cancer far above infirmity far above causes far above death far above every spirit you are far above epilepsy oh yes so i don't care what sickness it is it's under your feet and you've got to enforce the revelation of the word of god one last scripture luke chapter 10 such a mighty presence of the precious spirit in this place Luke 
chapter 10. When Jesus sent the 70 frail people with no power in themselves, the Bible says they went and they came back with a report. Verse 17. And the 70 returned again with joy. They returned with what? They returned with what? That's exactly how you are returning back to your destination. He said they returned with joy. They returned with joy. Saying, Lord, even the demons are subject unto us through thy name. And Jesus said something in verse 18. I love it so much. He said, unto them i beheld i beheld satan as lightning fall i beheld satan i beheld cancer i beheld infirmity i beheld poverty i beheld death fall Hallelujah. So let your heart be set. Let your heart be set. There are many of you that need miracles in this place that only God can give. Some of you have come here with your medical reports. While we appreciate medicine as a contribution to help humanity, I'd like you to know that there is only one qualified person and is the king of kings the lord of lords hallelujah to end every tragedy many of you have suffered all kinds of things what people call generational curses all kinds of delays marriage delays financial delays I don't care what it is called tonight but Jesus is Lord in this place and he said if I be lifted up so God is going to step in in this place the worship people got it precisely they said speak Lord brother sister when he speaks everything will have to obey when he said let there be light the bible says there was light so when he looks at you and says cancer go it will go when he says favor come it will come when he says increase come it will come it's what god is doing in this place even by his spirit so in one minute i like all of us to raise a cry and tell god why you came here tonight inside and outside come on ray cry say lord i have come for the healing of my body lord i have come for the fibro to die i have come for the migraine to go i have come for my genotype to be changed get angry if doctors say you are SS say Lord that may be their report tonight I'm leaving this place AA it's none of your business how it will happen go ahead and pray that barrenness will die if you are here and you've not had your child even if you don't have a womb stand up and pray say lord i celebrate children hallelujah i beheld satan i beheld satan as lightning fall i beheld satan 
I had beheld Satan. I beheld Satan. Oh, enough is enough. Enough is enough. I'm angry in my spirit. Brothers and sisters, enough is enough. It's time for you to experience the hand of God. It's time for your life to move forward. It's time for oppression to end. Come on, express yourself. Thank you, Jesus. I see angels in this place. Great angels. Many angels. Inside and outside. Several kinds of angels. Several kinds of angels. Hallelujah. 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 Watching a lady outside, outside, outside. Please, those outside, lift up your hands. I want you to bring that lady in this place. The power of God is going to come upon a lady right now as I'm speaking. Of course, there will be a ripple effect, but if you can locate the first lady, please bring her outside. A lady. Kaparianda kapa soto barikata. Kabambre kapa sepoto shubaha. Shikata ne bauko shikata ne. In kapara tameke tevala. Shikata ne breke tosa. See a healing miracle. Bra kapa tosa feke pete keti yaha. Ipata ne bau shikata. Bra nta baba seka prosufa. Bring the lady here. Kapo sopom breka yaba. Bra kato ste brandi. Sikeria tabari enteka. And the cabara da basikete, harigete malofaya. Satan, end your oppression over her life right now. I command those evil spirits tormenting you to go, 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 go. Jamie. Now listen, listen, at the count of three, everyone here with a demonic case, whether it's madness, psychosomatism, devils oppressing you, hear me, the power of God inside and outside, oppression will end right now. At the count of three, I see demons flying around the air. At the count of three, one, two, three, shake up, Ariyakata. Oppression, go, go. I cast out devils. I cast out devils. I cast out devils. Bring them to the front. I cast out devils inside and outside. Inside and outside, set and go, 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 I need all of them outside. I need all of them outside. There are some people possessed with demons. I command you, be free now. Be free now. Be free now. In 
inside and outside. All kinds of spirits. 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 I command it out of you. Bring the word. All kinds of spirits. All kinds of spirits. Out of them. 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 All kinds of demon spirits. All kinds of demon spirits. Call out. Call out. Call out. Inside and outside. Spirits of lust, come out, come out, come out, all kinds of spirits, out of them, out of them, inside and outside, out of them, out of them, those possessed with demons, you are free now. Every demon, you know my voice. I sound an alarm in the realm of the spirit. Let God's people go. Let God's people go. Let God's people go. Let God's people go. People. I see my spirit hear me I see people who are dedicated I'm seeing some people standing in front of a river line area a river line area and being dedicated to some kind of demonic things right now Katoso tepaka, rendo shopo kosupa, eko ria kapaka, rendo sote paka, reke pasika, amplata pate kete, reke tebo shopo. I command by the power of the Holy Ghost that you are free. Hallelujah! Hallelujah! I see a lady who was sent in the occultic realm to come and stop this meeting when I come out to minister. How, how, can, you, how can you think like that? Now! 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 Deliverance! Now! Now! By the power of the Holy Ghost, let that demon go. I set you free. Jesus said, Verily, verily, I say unto you, He that believeth on me, the works that I do, shall he do, and greater works. Jesus said it, greater works. There's one more lady. There's one more lady. I see the demons around saying they will not let you go. Let that girl go now. 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 The lady is outside. Let that girl go now. Let that lady go now. Now. 
Let that lady go now. Let that girl go now. I'm waiting for a lady outside. The fire of God, not just the power, the fire of God is what will fall upon that lady. Hallelujah. All of you here, Satan, I'm about to speak to all of you here, and the demons will go now. Come out of them, all of you in front. Come out of them now. Now. I see in the realm of the spirit a snake. I'm not just seeing this lady. I'm seeing a snake. I don't care what you are. Go. 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 That wicked. Look at what she's doing. I see the way she's behaving. Look at. Look at this. Look at this. See the way she's behaving. Like a serpent. See. Oh, fire upon you! Fire upon you! Fire upon you now! Out of her! 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 Come out of her! I set you free. Emmanuel, Emmanuel, we want to see you. We want to hear from you. Emmanuel, 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 Emmanuel. Hallelujah. 
Any heart condition, whether it's a hole in the heart, if you have any heart condition, inside or outside, any cardiovascular issue, blood circulation issue, whatever it is, inside and outside, I'd like you to lift your hands right now. Any heart problem, I don't care what it is. Lift up your hands because you are about to receive your liberty. Hear me? God is healing all over. Even before I mention your case, check yourself. Check yourself. You will find out that you're getting healed. Don't sit back. Check yourself and run quickly. Meet the members of the media. Right here you will testify. So check yourself. Miracles are happening everywhere. Pray one minute and say, I must be exempted in this season. Please pray. 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 Are you praying? Oh, every time the devil tried to bring his arsenal and fight the church, God is always one strategy ahead. One strategy ahead. One strategy ahead. One strategy ahead. Munoka kasunanka Ubangi chika isayabo Mungir mama sunanka Ubangi chika pray Munoka kasunanka Ubangi chika isayabo Mungir mama sunanka Ubangi we raise your banner high We shine your light so bright We sing in honor of you Lord, we will raise your banner high We shine your light so bright We sing in honor of you Sunanka, Ubangi Jika Isayabo, Nagir Mama Sunanka, Ubangi Jika, Nagao Kata Sunanka, Ubangi Jika Isayabo, Nagir Mama Sunanka, Ubangi Jika, I tell you we will not bow, hey! Your banner high, we shine your light so bright. We sing in honor of you. Lord, we will raise your banner high. We shine your light so bright. We sing in honor of you. The grace to be valuable that when men say there is a casting down the bible says your gates shall be continually open it will not be short day or night right that you will receive the forces of the gentiles that's what the bible says you can be valuable and exempt yourself from the economic whiplash Hear me, I'm not talking of business, I'm not talking of investment, I'm talking of being so valuable, carrying something that cannot be found in the earth realm, carrying something that is not of an earthly origin. Hallelujah. Please sit down. Mm. Sit down. 
I told you there will be lots of impartations we'll pray my passion is that something will come upon your life listen let me tell you something brothers and sisters when this glory of God comes on a man it will change you you will veto laws and walk as if Satan does not exist never trivialize the anointing it's a big deal I'm not talking of being anointed where you are competing with people and fighting no God raises you by his grace and puts you in a pedestal Kabarataya. no mammon no devil no policy affects you it's a realm it's a dimension we frown at the supernatural because we think we're in an intellectual realm. Many times when pastors speak, a lot of business people just say, these guys are daft, they don't know what they're saying. Ah, yeah, 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 yeah. The voice of God. The Bible says, the Lord is my shepherd. That is why I will not want. The Lord is my shepherd. A shepherd guides. He knows where the green grasses are. He says, he leads me. He leads me. And thou shalt hear a voice from behind saying, This is the way, walk ye in it. Isaiah 48, verse 17. Right? I am the Lord that teacheth thy hands to profit. Some of you, this is what you will need. You will step into a place and men will look for you. Who said where you are staying is too far? You have not carried something. When you carry something, listen let me tell you when you know you are anointed when no price is too much to meet you you are really anointed when no price is too much to meet you have you watched people during foil scarcity they have their money but they still queue and they are not angry that's how valuable foil is when you get to a point where people don't mind trekking from anywhere to say I have learned that the wisdom of God is upon your mouth and we have come as a nation that's where Joshua Selman is going to Listen, Koinonia is not an exclusive reserve of preachers. Power was never for preachers. Power is for them who will survive in this season because there are gates that you must stand against and it takes the anointing it takes unction not stories not preaching unction listen churches are closing because there's no results we argue and say it doesn't matter but they are closing the devil is closing them the devil is closing them people are coming in with devilish policies against the church you know why they have not seen our relevance by the time a city cannot do without the church no devil will close it no devil will close it listen so the key is not just making noise the key is rising to that point please hear me when you become valuable listen listen if I give you 500,000 to go and invest, you can make money. If I give you a product to sell, if this is 100 Naira, everybody you sell to, you will sell at 100 Naira. So you move at their pace. But when you become valuable, your reward is left to the perception of your benefactors. One person can see you and give you 100,000 because that's what he perceives. The next person can give you 10 million because that's what he perceives is the key to accelerating ourselves to enter that wealthy place 
let me tell you some levels of businesses are too slow to supply the funds required for kingdom advancement it takes being valuable the queen of sheba there was no water on solomon she carried her treasure to solomon there are shebas there are cyruses that must arise with their treasure and i'm praying prophetically that someone tonight an unction an unction an unction from the throne an unction from the throne will come upon someone that will change your life where your voice becomes like the voice of god Listen, let me tell you this there will be no longer begging in the church all that depending on the world system no the key is not to sit down waiting for someone to employ you as good as that is the key has been given to us the holy ghost handing you the keys that can open any door and you will watch mammon mammon will watch you and not be able to do anything listen i saw this in the vision that the lord showed me many people will be constrained they are like it will be as if they should die because the doors are closed let me quickly talk about the two points we're rounding up there is a key that will conquer exhaustion in this season please write it down there are many weary people and it's natural to be weary but let me tell you the key please hear me i want you to write it it's a very simple key spend time praying in the spirit spend time i didn't say pray in the spirit at will carelessly when you want spend time praying in the spirit i want you to fan your prayer life in a dimension that will be too hot for any devil bishop oyedeko said no matter how mad a man is no matter how mad a man is he will not enter fire in the name of madness are we together you want to survive the tides brothers and sisters let me tell you your prayer altar must be like the seven times hotter fire that they threw the hebrew boys the bible says those who threw them themselves were burnt to death are we together you lie down on your bed you turn a little where your prayer creates an effect you enter your house as you are shouting in tongues something is happening you are shaking gates prayer read your bible has always been the key to true apostolic and prophetic revival when you pray let me tell you no matter how dead your spiritual life is when you invest in prayer you will burn that devil to nonsense he must give you more. i don't mean prayer that you are just asking and begging and crying that's why i said pray in the spirit because for many of us our prayer in understanding is petition and languishing and pain and anger but you lock yourself and you pray i'm not just saying when you are in your prayer room you are moving on the road you are praying beneath your voice somebody drops a charm at you it backfires on him by night he has become mad are we together someone is carrying a talisman and you are sitting down and you are going to sabo he will drop at main gates because the fire is too hot he makes listen he makes his ministers win spirits right his angel spirit and his ministers flames i've said it again I pity the herbalist that will make concoction and call my name. It's, it's not only that it will not work. If it didn't work, he has still insulted me. He will fry to death physically. Physically. I'm not, I'm not motivating you. You think they've not tried it? How can you be leading a ministry like this and not tried it? Only God knows till we get to heaven, 
before we know how many poisons we have eaten let me tell you something when your prayer life is alive and healthy anytime you are walking just imagine in your head fire literal fire are we together john wesley said set yourself on fire and the whole world will come to watch you burn set yourself on fire stop discussing things with people who cannot help you go and lock yourself your body says i'm tired you say you are joking mm. as you begin to pray you will first feel weak for a few minutes keep praying it's normal just keep praying when you touch that escape velocity you will touch a realm where strength you cannot explain will land upon you you plan to pray for one hour you will stretch five hours believe me i know what i'm saying nobody starts praying just out of comfort it's like you are starting shake it a bit you are tired you are moving you are tired keep praying don't say ah this and that the devil will tell ah, there's something in the fridge have you don't just keep praying Oh, Apostle, but I'm praying and thinking about women. Keep praying. That's what it's supposed to solve. There is a level to which the fire will be too hot. Your flesh must burn and allow your spirit accent. Listen, when the Holy Ghost is called fire, it's not just what we do in church. Fire, fire. No, it's real fire. Fire is a mystery. Those who will pray in this season will record unbelievable breakthroughs. Believe me you pray in the spirit thank god we have a very robust prayer department you come there and stretch it out with destiny after two hours your antenna is to the heavens any demon is flying above you they hang there they hang there because you are passing you are not even praying the fire will roast every devil around anywhere that's what we are talking about listen many of us are too cold that's why the devil come and sit on your destiny and it will look like nothing is happening there are cold churches a spirit will arise from somewhere and just come and sit upon the man of god and his wife and his family but for koinonia no way shout no way, no way. fire when there is fire burning somebody will come with migraine as he's crossing that 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 junction to enter koinonia the migraine will just leave that's fire speaking that's fire speaking it works but if you walk it it's not a gift it's a labor in the spirit this is the labor dimension of spiritual growth men will pay you let me tell you your 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 job is to just become genuinely anointed by the power of god and you watch what god will do in your life it's what a jimmy calls transformational wealth that dimension of wealth that is tied to people rewarding you because the last time they shook your hand every gate opened every every gate opened just by shaking you do you think they want to be your friend absolutely absolutely praying in the spirit becoming valuable praying in the spirit becoming valuable the third key in this season is the power of corporate fellowship the power of corporate fellowship if the devil can successfully isolate you in this season just know that you are quarter to die are we together there is a difference between isolation and solitude once the devil wants to destroy you let me tell you what he will do look up please he will use offense huh? and push away everybody every intercessor in your life you will fight with him everybody who has grace and love for you you will fight with him he will push every relevant person push you to the wall alone and then that's where you sit down there and become a victim of his assaults a corporate life is a powerful key in the realm of the spirit the power of a corporate life that you come together and where i am almost giving up as you land with your fire based on unity of faith and the spirit of brotherhood before my fire jacks up your fire is roasting every devil that i came with are we together corporate fellowship 
how good and pleasant it is when brethren dwell together in unity it is like the oil that flows from the head of Aaron that priest down to his bed down to his cat he said for there the Lord has commanded the blessing corporate life I'm a man of God of myself you will pay for it in this season you need corporate grace corporate grace corporate grace because no matter what you have seen you will need that sometimes that corporate grace will help you confirm if the path you are walking is of God the devil can isolate you and you just keep moving and you are flattering yourself until you land in fire are we together but koinonia we are going to pray I don't know about you but for as long as you are genuinely connected to this ministry you must be exempted from this nonsense that is ravaging nations it's like an angel of death is is entering families bam sickness incurable diseases have you heard recently how people are dying just from headache they say somebody has headache before they rush into the hospital he's dead how oh, come on a woman is pregnant just when labor starts she becomes deaf and dumb then she dies we're going to drive that devil out of zaria are you ready to pray no we're going to pray there is a church in zaria and we will pray we will pray and drive it far and say we surround this city with a mystery that makes any enchantment not to be able to thrive we represent god's seat of of governance in this city and we must pray there's no room for carelessness. We must pray. Lift your voice and pray in tongues for a while. Make sure you participate, everybody. Don't be tired. We're praying. Young and old, everyone pray. Japarapa to soto prekata kerepeka tosh. Enkrete sekate barata barata kashiga de barama. Rante kete prosoto pakarada barada barada baka sarva kata prekata barada bosh. Zikete kete karata kata prada kata barada baka. Japaka raka to soto prekate. Enprekete kushoto koto barada barada ba. Are you praying? Hallelujah. Anointing. a prayer from the depth of your heart. Listen, our family members are depending on us, not our preaching. The activity of the power of God upon our lives. There are people standing here. Let me tell you, listen, this thing that I saw, there are families I know. I saw it happening to in that vision. And I like you to pray. You are not desiring the anointing out of covetousness. You need it. There are, there are thrones and dominions that must be subdued. And Apostle Joshua Selma may not be there. The goal is not to have one superstar. The goal is that you carry fire. 
and go to your regions and begin to speak the purposes of God and while you are doing that God will compel men to lift you it has nothing to do with ministry please I like you to pray and say father let a strange unction fall upon my life Oh, let the earthly become heavenly. Let the earthly become heavenly. Let the earthly become heavenly. In this season, they that will survive must be men of power, authentic unction, unction beyond imagination, unction beyond argument, unction beyond argument, unction beyond argument. Ta 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 ta, ba ta ka parakata. Lord, send that fire upon my life. Send that fire upon my gifts. Send that fire upon my degree. Send that fire upon my PhD. Send that fire upon my business. Send that fire upon my company. Send that fire upon my church. Send that fire upon my family. Oh yes, send that fire upon my life. Send that unction upon my life. The earnest expectation of creation awaits my manifestation. Thou shall arise and have mercy upon Zion for the time to favor her. Yea, the set time. 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 Hallelujah. Listen, listen. One encounter with the anointing can give you an open door that your lifetime will not exhaust it if you believe what I'm telling you. One encounter, one, one encounter can open a financial door for you that will wipe your tears. One encounter can make you a friend to somebody who will pay your being a friend with him forever one encounter listen listen hallelujah i'd like you to pray a prayer you've heard us pray it here but i want you to pray it with all your heart everyone appointed to reward my grace i compel them to appear go ahead and pray it's not enough to have an anointing there are men who can reward your grace there are institutions send them oh god to koinonia send them to your people men and women who need what you carry your entrepreneurial anointing your leadership anointing your spirit of motherhood send them to my life oh god men and women who have what it takes hallelujah hallelujah listen listen look up look up 
I know very anointed men and women. They love God passionately. But they have never met the people assigned to bless them. You don't preach for money. You don't carry the anointing just for money. But you see God designed it in such a way. That as you dispense the realities of the kingdom. There is a feedback system that should empower you. So you continue being effective. Are we together? Listen. The day you stand in the presence. You see many of us are around people who love our gifts. But do not have the grace to reward it. Are we together? You can labor and pray and fast. And go and preach somewhere. And someone will pat your back and say, Wow, you are an awesome man of God. I've never seen a man of God in this state like you. That's not enough reward. But there is a way you can have an encounter. And someone will come and bring a generator. Buy you a car. And say, what does it take? To stop you from thinking about the finances. If you are such a voice. I should sponsor you rising to any level. There are men like that. There are some of us. The value you have now. Let me tell you sincerely. The value you have now. You, is, is enough for you to be blessed forever. But you have not encountered those who have what it takes. Listen. There are pastors. Hear me. Who until you preach somewhere where your helpers are. That's what will expand your church. All of a sudden it will be like they are hearing you for the first time. Yes, I know there are millions of men of God in Nigeria. But there are others assigned to honor you, you, you. You can be singing. Singing songs. Laboring and traveling from pillar to post. But if you can discern. God can send you to somebody who has the means but needs your music. When it was time for the lifting of David, a spirit was upon Saul and Saul needed a musician to drive it. All of a sudden, they went and fished out David. How many times did David play for Saul? When he played just once, Saul loved him. There are circles that I have entered and I ministered once and God connected me to people who will bless me forever and that day it wasn't even as if I was saying anything it was just that God connected me to people who will be blessed tomorrow we're in Asaba a mighty meeting happening in the stadium and we're going to minister they started preparing for this meeting tomorrow one year one year they came to book one year in advance they have been praying logistics publicity all over the city and we are going to once storm the gates of hell there is some you are not assigned everywhere look you need to pray that those assigned to honor what you carry otherwise you'll be frustrated trying to be everything to anybody lift your voice one more time and say direct them oh god direct them direct them to me oh in this season Direct my blessers. Direct those you have sent to be blessed by my ministry. Direct those who have been sent to be blessed by my business. Shabakata Bosch on the Brosa Sikeruta Sabarikata. Direct them. You are a prophet, but not to everyone. That God will bring the ears of those who have been anointed to hear your voice. You are an apostle, not to everyone. That God will direct the people, the institutions. Hallelujah. Going to be praying that in this season please hear me that in this season god will grant you grace to have passion for the house of god that you will not allow the devil corner you somewhere and destroy you and destroy your family he said as for me 
and my house i don't know about you but as for me i have made up the bible says they that be planted no flimsy excuses oh we are tired today they that be planted in the house of god they will flourish in the courts of our god i'd like you to pray passionately and say lord grace and passion for your house grace and passion grace and passion for your house supernatural grace supernatural passion for your house for your house for your house hallelujah hallelujah we are rounding up one category of people who will be exempted from any nonsense in this season are passionate and addicted soul winners listen listen there was a time they needed money to pay for tax it was a period that they needed money desperately they had come to collect tax and jesus said go and catch fish and fish in the bible is symbolic of souls when they caught those souls in that mission work they found money as they were preaching god provided a way as they were preaching fishers of men they went to fish and they said open the mouth of that fish as that fish testifies the greatness of god and confesses with his mouth the lordship of christ you engage a law automatically that brings you well hear me please believe what i'm saying there are many peoples here who love god we are prayer warriors but we are not so winners you stand up alone and drag yourself to koinonia you wave your roommates you wave your family members you come here and get blessed while you are getting blessed the devil is using them to destroy your blessing you go back home a soul winner is an intercessor lord you must change my family members there are people who can come on friday and say look i'm going around this place have you heard about koinonia you've never really come you see this this our shame big boy big girl there are no big boys and big girls in the kingdom it takes passion when you are doggedly involved in soul winning you schedule seasons of exemption i can tell you this i can tell you this are we together you are in your office you are there and you leave every other person someone tells you uh -uh, um the devil is trying to manipulate my life are we together i want to pray for you there are three things i'm going to pray for you the anointing for uncommon wisdom that's the first thing i'll pray for you let me tell you i know many foolish people it's not by age i have seen this ancient wisdom upon my life as young as i look i have seen it i know it is real i saw it in people i coveted it with my heart and the day it landed upon me i knew the anointing for wisdom strategies two the anointing for favor you need favor in this season favor is not when you do things by yourself favor is when god raises men to do things for you it's not about having money it's about the appearance of men in your life to wipe your tears it's called favor number three the supernatural power of the holy ghost to provide solutions to people there are sick people there are oppressed people waiting for joshua selman to heal everybody's idolatry that's not god's design god's design is that you become an extension of what we represent that when we cannot be there you can arise they tell you a woman is failing to give birth you lay hands on her stomach and ask her to give birth there and then no cs it has nothing to do with being a pastor or being a prophet you don't need to carry any ministry you just need to carry the spirit of grace lift your hands the spirit of wisdom spirit of wisdom there is a level of wisdom that is beyond age 
is not found in the realm of men it comes from heaven job was asked a question when cometh this wisdom where is it where is it they ask the place of the dead and he says it's not with us we don't know where it is he said only god knows the place thereof hmm? whose price is higher than rubies he said does not wisdom cry her price is far above rubies right he said by me kings reign and princes decree justice with me are riches wealth and honor yea durable riches and righteousness i pray for you in the name of jesus the grace for supernatural wisdom uncommon wisdom let it come upon your life in the name of jesus receive it in the name of jesus receive it in the name of jesus from today you begin to function at a frequency of wisdom that no man will begin to can say or resist number two the bible says all who saw esther loved her favor there is such a thing as favor there is such a thing as divine supernatural not man-made arranged favor favor from strangers when those who know you favor you it makes sense when a stranger is moved by the holy ghost to serve the purposes of god in your life your business and your ministry then you know that that's favor receive that grace for favor receive that grace for favor receive that grace for favor listen some of you before the end of this night strange testimonies strange testimonies you are thinking of buying a bible someone brings it you are thinking of buying something someone brings it now that's favor you are looking for a place to pray someone says i have my room anytime you need to pray i give you that's favor you are trusting god to travel for a meeting somewhere you are stranded in car someone says i will sponsor you pay for your flight and bring you back receive that order of testimonies in the name of jesus christ oh it will come upon you believe me believe me you will carry it bodily and go out with it hallelujah the last prayer lift your hands this one will come upon you big listen we need miracles signs and wonders the ministry of miracles has not ended signs and wonders the sick healed the oppressed delivered you command breakthroughs in the lives and destinies of men don't just waste words as you speak to people you influence the realm of the spirit to provide solutions for people lift your hands father i pray over your people that ordinary life that ordinary preaching that doing things ordinary from today step into the supernatural step into the supernatural step into the supernatural the unction for signs wonders and miracles let it come upon your life right now the ability to see the ability to speak the prophetic word of God ay, 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 ay. it will come on some of you I release it upon you in the name of Jesus listen some of you from today as you stand close to people just contact with them it will be like a register open in the realm of the spirit receive that grace in the name of Jesus I pray for you the way God can have respect for the prayer of a man and solve another person's problem because of who prayed in the Bible God had respect for the prayers of men Elisha prayed right 
well, it was Elijah that prayed that God would open the eyes of his servant he didn't ask the servant whether he had faith he had a covenant of answered prayer and because of it a man's eyes was open i pray for you in the name of jesus christ one more time may your eyes be open may your eyes be open hallelujah before anything will happen to you and to your loved ones may it never escape your vista you will see it hallelujah and i want to pray for people who the devil has manipulated their visions to a point that they no longer trust what they see you started seeing well but the devil wanting to confuse you shakatabata i tell you like i see an anointing coming on people the devil wanted to confuse you and started aberrating your vision and what you started seeing stop coming to pass in the name of jesus christ i pray for you right now receive clarity 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 by the power of the holy ghost we correct that anomaly in the name of jesus i don't know the spirit that is lingering around the body of Christ giving men bad visions taking advantage of their prophetic dimensions and confusing them so that their words will not be heard and so that their visions will not be seen some of you now you have closed yourself to visions because the things you saw look corrupted I pray for you again may that spirit that manipulates your visions be casted out of your life right now we really appreciate you for watching our videos like comment share and subscribe thank you